Hey everybody, this is Richard K. Richard K. Reviews, and no, I have to review Gridman. No, 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 uh, I gotta review Titans, because that season finale is like, what the hell? No, 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 I have to review Gridman. I have to freaking go Busters Morpher ready to go. Okay, you know what? No, yes, no, yes, bite me. Oh, I already died. Well, I kind of, sort of died to get Super Saiyan form. Oh, oh, really? Did you? How'd you do that? Okay, seriously. Hey everyone, um, real nerf, uh, Red Hood, is it? Yes! Wow, your reputation does precede you. Ugh. So what? I'm on the floor. It's not like you're a really cool. Whoa! -ho -ho! That's the girlfriend? Ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. <clears throat> that makes you X23? Or is it Wolverine? How you're cosplaying him? A bit of both. <laughs> so, uh, what's the deal? You got a compromise or what? Yeah, I actually got a compromise. How about you guys just do it as a freaking double review like you always do, Retro? Yeah, but. I really want to make a quick one, and I gotta top something of the year to do tomorrow. Yeah, on Christmas Eve, yeah, you're never gonna get it done. Uh, great, thanks for, you know, dating the as of recording, because I was gonna say it. Oh, really? And tell me how again you did that thing with the- Okay, seriously, you and the rib shots! Wait, there was rib shots? Long story. Oh, there's a good story here. Alright, you know what? As the real voice of the channel... I didn't just hear that. Yeah, you did. I'll agree to the... What's that thing again? The double review. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to it. Seriously, he's more sporadic with members than you are. You sure it's not a psychosis issue? No, it's not! Screw you! Alright, look. Let's just do a coin flip. <laughs> and by coin flip, I mean stab. I've been stabbed worse than this! And you have nth metal. Which I still can't believe counters animantium. <laughs> Should've gone from right premium! Okay, 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 retro goes first. Be right back, guys. Oh, this hurts! Well, never thought I'd say this, but I might actually want to date her again in 2019. That being said, access love action. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, uh, there's a reason why I'm uh got that. Uh, that's for another bit. I'm gonna try to do live action bits for these two. Sorry for the crooked angle. It's kind of been a while since I at all used the uh, tripod on my last video. So that being said, uh, let's see here. Ooh. Uh, kind of helpful. Great man, episode 12 and I think 11. Um, I'll start with what I know so far on the teens, well, what little there are for teens on this one. Um, more plot-focused stuff, more uh, Kaiju of the Week. Uh, I think I didn't get around to talking about its final form on my last uh, episode related to it, so card to that. And oh my god, that final form is so cool! Until I saw episode 12. We'll, we'll get to the forms when it comes to the Ultra Rundowns in a bit. Um, also, stuff I missed out last time is that, um, John the Shades, aka, well, Shades of Reviewtopia, is doing an episode breakdown a lot better than mine, and with a cooler green screen, because you think, well, I don't have a green screen, but if I had a green screen, it would be more, like, retro-focused, old-school-focused, kind of like what John, uh, what John does with, uh, the Shades, uh, reviews, so, again, props to Shades right there, for real, John, you're doing a better job than me. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, cards any of his, uh, rando reviews on it, so, I'm pretty sure, I think he's still in the singles, so, let's get to the double digits. Uh, yeah, 10 premiered, I think, the final form, and Anti, um, the kid that I forgot to mention that was also a kaiju, he's, no joke, they're Sigma, there's no getting around it, he's their Ultraman Sigma, and it actually shows. Because, for those who saw the rumors years ago, if they ever got a sequel series, is that uh, Sigma for that show was also going to be a villain turning into a, you know, ultra of his own. And um, the villain for the original series was a lot like Akane. Um, she, he was a, a anti-social kind of person, except in her case, she was social on purpose for to fake everything, I guess. And being a toku god. And there's a reason why I'm calling her a toku god, not an anime god, coming into episode 12. But 11 stuff. Uh, more of the old school... Uh, retro uh, tech that was the original show was exposed more and more and more, basically letting Akane's lies of being like this perfect world and all that stuff she was trying to build up in her head throughout the entire series is pretty much down the shitter every time Grimant, you know, hyper beamed away a monster or two. And all the dead monsters, I think in 10 and 11, were coming back and more people were waking up to, oh, hey, here's this thing I remembered and this and this, and they're all having a bunch of social media pop ups for that. And, um, I forgot to mention, um, 
the vehicles that are actual school students of their own from another school in the hyper dimension called Neon Genesis Hyper High School. I think that was the term. Uh, wiki down below for those characters. My favorite one was uh, Max because he had this half mask kind of thing and as a half mask fan myself, um, that would be a really cool cosplay. I hope I can rock. I don't think I could do the dreads. I might need a wig for that, but you know, that might happen for New York Comic Con. Uh, yeah, that also being said, uh, the one I actually think I could cross-play is Gri uh, no, Samurai Caliber. Uh, mainly because the Samurai name, because I'm from the West and I remember the su Superhero Samurai Cyber Squad, so, you know, props there. Um, the rest of the cast is actually pretty cool. They're a good group of students that helped out, um... Damn it, I forget the kid's name, and, uh, there's a reason why, uh, you... I'll call him Yuki for now, because I remember... Uh, Hmm, Hibiki. I think his last name's Hibiki. I'll stick to it because, sorry for the actual real name for the main kid. Uh, again, wiki down below to the whole Grey Man show. Um, yeah. Oh, Utah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Sporadic memories. More and more coming back. Kind of like people in episodes ten through twelve getting more memories of how oh this world really isn't ours kind of thing. So I think in the long run, my sporadic memories are helping for the show. Uh, weird as it sounds. Um, that also being said, uh, Kane, every time, a uh, kaiju of her, of her created, she gets more and more depressed, to the point where Alexis, who I thought was a new, I thought was gonna be Khan Digifer, uh, in disguise, with this whole new hype, uh, anime, uh, mantra. No, he's his own villain of his own creation, sucks to hear it, but, yeah, it's true. Uh, finally, uh, I'm going into episode 12 now, it turns her into the final, uh, kaiju of the show, and she got huge. Like, the meter... I'm not a guy that does the power scaling or the meter scaling in this case when it comes to the height. It's definitely very large, and the current forms of uh, anime Gridman can't really handle this. So, in episode 12, they had to go through what was, I guess, a mini recap of what happened in episodes 10 and 11. Also with another uh, Grid... Uh, not Gridman. Uh, Ginga Easter egg. I think their temple was still some circling around there. Um, I think I saw it in episode 11, if I'm not mistaken, so I'll put, I'll, I'll screen cap the, the, the pick down below, because I can't find it on Tumblr. Apologies for everyone who also has to put up with the other Tumblr side of the drama. Yeah, I didn't really put my two pieces on it, but the post will be also in the description of this video. Um, I'm still gonna do, you know, regular, you know, meme posts and stuff like that, and repost, you know, my thoughts and stuff. I don't live blog, in case you haven't noticed, uh, if you actually look at my Tumblr, but, um, I did for two big moments, uh, the actual, you know, porn, that insert, you know, YouTube drama, uh, Tumblr drama shutdown, and, uh, when, uh, Two Best Friends Play just broke up earlier this week as of this recording. So, again, all those will be in the description down below if you guys want to read my quick thoughts on it. Some of it's shit posting, not much. Um, so, apologies if you get through the shit posting on that. Uh, I really gotta fix this angle when I get to Jason's episode, seriously. Uh, but before I get to that, uh, my final thoughts on episodes 10 through 11. Really good setup for the finale, great penultimate episodes on their own. Again, I highly recommend, uh, John when he gets to covering these episodes as their own. Believe me, you're gonna need it. Cause, oh my god, I really love these episode 12. Oh, I love that finale so good! Uh, okay, uh, again, like I said early on into episode 12 is a recap what happened in 11, so again, I highly recommend just burning through the show, it's really not that long, they're all, like, half-hour episodes, so you can definitely binge it if you have, like, the Crunchyroll account, or any of the anime streaming services account, you can totally do it just fine, um, I wait for the dub, uh, just cause, um, I sat through the sub cause Toku Purity, I guess, in my nature, um, that also being said, I'm just gonna cut to the, uh, good parts of the fights, uh, you get True Gridman, aka the Toku Gridman, and they played, they played, uh, the original track when he was starting to fight Alexis, and I loved it. I can't, I, I, I kinda risked it the last time I did a Gridman review, I'm not gonna do the actual theme again, I'm sorry. I might try to do the end theme, since I am talking the final episodes here, so, again, fingers crossed if any of them happen, and if YouTube allows it. I didn't get any co copyright shutdowns, which is the good sign of it, but the bad news is it's growly. It was uh, disjointed because I was still using, you know, Movie Maker, in case you haven't seen my editing skills the last, you know, year and a half here. But, um, yeah, um, if I could get the end theme as the uh, opening uh, uh, crawl for this, I would love every minute of it, just to be honest with you. 
But yeah, just to see True Grid Man like straight out of the the, the anime short again, cartoon my review of the anime short back then. Oh, uh, it it like like time didn't change for this. In the, in their case, three three years of anime production, but for me, like twenty plus years, just watching superhero samurai cyber squad back when I was a kid. It was awesome. It really was. It had the old neon um digital world. It had everything, and it was just amazing. Um. For the uh, ending that I was kind of leading to, um, and why Akane counts as a Toku god, um, everyone after the fight had their you know epilogue episode just you know packed into this episode. Uh, you get your finale and your epilogue, which is, I guess, kind of what Trigger had to do. I guess the budget was running thin at that point, which again, understandable. I really do. Um, everyone you know said their goodbyes and stuff. Same for the hyper agent, uh, Gridman. Um, also coming into episode ten. Going into 11, um, how do I say this? I kind of got a little rage-inducing. I, I think triggered, uh, I guess, the new, like, oh, rage quit terms nowadays for new kids. Getting to the point, um, she stabbed, uh, Yuta. Again, I, this is a spoiler I should have addressed early on in this episode. I got really hyped for episode 12. Again, apologies there. But, um, 11 was just him hospitalized. Auntie was, you know, fighting all the dead, uh, kaiju, like I said earlier in this, in this episode. In this episode. Well, when do my reviews come out episodes? Who knows? Um, I mean, in this re in this video, it's pretty much what I said early on. Um, Andy took one for the team. Um, I think also got revived as a post credit thing. And he's not getting a sequel series. I, I would love it, to be honest with you, just to see how he would handle a world without Akane. But, again, I doubt it. Um, also, I think the little kid uh, kaiju that was addressed, I, st I think still in the singles, I don't know if it was like 8 or 9. Um, might have been an old school kaiju from the True series, and that's what I'm gonna call it now. Not the Toku series; it's the True series. <laughs> Let's just call it like it is. That, that's a great term. Thank you, Trigger, for that. Thank you, seriously. Um, yeah. So who knows? I, I actually wouldn't mind more True series characters come back. However, there is a possibility. Um, the last like two seconds of the actual show, once you get through uh, the end, uh, the end theme, and just everyone saying their goodbyes. I kind of wakes up into the real world, as in what I am right now. This this reality that you're seeing right now, she woke up to it. So technically speaking, if they do a second season, I would love nothing more for it to be a tokusatsu. I would love it. I would love it to be a a legitimate legal multi-streamed toku ultra. I mean, ultra toku in general would be great. But on Funimation time, on basically how uh, Crunchyroll subbing it, and around the world. Legal as it can ever get, I would, that, that's, you just won. You, you just won. That's great. Um, yeah, I also, as you also can tell with my spoilers, it's sporadic, and I jumped around all, all three of these episodes, to be honest with you. Um, so for episode 10, it's definitely 8 out of 10. I did not see that, uh, plot twist coming. Uh, episode 11, um, 7, um, mainly because, again, it was a lot of Penelope stuff, and they're trying to wrap around what they want to do when they get to the finale. Finale, definitely 10 out of 10, because, well, you actually kind of confirmed that the Toku and the anime are now one and the same. So that's a lot of golden opportunities for an open ending like that. That's really cool. If they choose to do a sequel series. If they don't want to, I understand. I really do. Business side and all that. But if they really do, best believe I'm going to keep Access Flash into this. Um, also, for the Neon Genesis team, um, just wrap around for the whole series in total. It's a 9 out of 10. They were kind of a bore, but they were fun to look at more than the actual world that Akane made. And uh, yeah, she counts as a Toku god because she woke up in this reality. Also, with this crap, with this type of crappy lighting, by the way, thank you for that uh, SSS Grimman for showing that amateurs like me have to put up with this lighting for a living. <laughs> thank you for real, seriously. Um, so yeah, glowing recommendations aside, if you haven't gone around to watching the show, it's still on both the uh, Fun Funimation and. Crunchyroll, if you want to wait out the subs, like, I should have, honestly, but I'm a huge Toku mark, I had to watch it regardless, I, I watched it on illegal means, I insert kiss anime jokes here, but yeah, sorry for that, I'm not gonna put the link down below, again, just wait out for it to be legal, or wait for the Blu-ray, because if this gets on Blu-ray, dub-wise, on Best Buy, I, I will definitely review the Blu-ray, just to see what they change dub-wise, uh, coming into it when they were simulcasting, again, I will probably deep dive into that in 2019 and probably the figures i know they have like a cutesy um good smile i don't know the name of the, of the toy brand uh link down below if you guys want me to review that it's probably going to be expensive like 60 or 70 something bucks because again i gotta get it off of amazon 
Um, wouldn't mind doing a toy review of that. I also wouldn't mind doing, um, more Gingo-related content. I make him as a regular here for the show, for Ultra Shows going forward. Because I probably should have done that since R&B, or basically every Ultra that came the last three and a half years after him. I really should have just made Ultra reviews like I did for every other character here. Um, so yeah, um, this is part one of the year-end double review. Because after this, it's Spider-Verse and... The end of the year lists. Uh, for everyone who was reading the description in the last video, it's going to be three uh, bad TV shows, three good movies, three uh, bad movies, and also, yeah, three bad TV shows. So, again, there was a lot riding on uh, SSS Gridman. For me, as just not just a Toku fan, but a Otaku in general in the anime scene, um, I love it. it. To me, this is the this is the winner of uh, Fall Anime of 2019, not Goblin Slayer. I I, I know people in the, the hardcore side really love Goblin Slayer. Hell, I even saw a medieval um, channel guy basically uh, talk about just how his weapons and everything are actually kind of functional. So again, uh, I guess link to that because on to part two, Jason's final review of Titans season one. Man, does he have a lot to say. Alright, see you guys in a bit.